Hello, I'm Dr. Van Barnevelt from Grace Consultancy and together with AHDB have been bringing these little weekly updates. I was hoping to do today outside, but the weather's gone real bad, which is great news for the farmers. Uh, hopefully you've all had some really good rain after that dry spell. So what to do next? Um, the big thing is be brave, all right? If you've been holding on to somewhere around a 24 day rotation, like I've been, I've been advising, um, make sure that you transition onto a quicker rotation at the right time. So once your pre-grazing covers hit some around the two and a half thousand kilos of dry matter per hectare, um, you should have a fairly flat wedge of grass where most of the paddocks coming on behind it are not that far away from it. The growth rates are going to be through the roof, right? Once you get to that sort of level of cover, your growth rates are going to be so far in excess of your pasture demand that if you don't transition quick enough, you're going to be in a surplus situation this time next week. You'll be looking at bailing some of the paddocks. So making sure you give more area per day very quickly, drop silage out of the system as quick as you can, and then also the decision on whether to use a mower. You know, should you be pre-mowing or topping? Quality is absolute paramount. So making sure that you have, have good leafy pasture ahead of you as quickly as you can is so important. And achieving residuals in, in that case is so important, but residuals doesn't just mean grazing low enough. It's also protecting not to overgraze. And I see so many people trying to push too hard with cows or dare I say it, young stock following cows and they're overgrazing patches. So in, in this case, you might be pushing to graze the clumps, but in the process of doing so, you're overgrazing the areas in between. And that has a massive impact on the regrowth on those good patches and on the root structure for that plant because it's just so hard for that plant to recover from being overgrazed versus using a mower where you're not pushing the cows quite as hard to overgraze Yes, you're going to lose some utilisation because there's some grass wastage, but in many cases that can be so much better than overgrazing. So the message today is like, be brave, get the supplements out of the system as soon as you can do so, and don't be afraid to use a mower.